Um, I'm Peter Glor. I'm a research scientist at the MIT Center for Collective Intelligence. And my big passion is coins, collaborative innovation networks. And that's something that I have been fascinated with for a very long time. I was in industry for 10 years as a, a manager for two big consulting firms. And what I found is that much more than technology, what really matters is people and new ideas. And what I found is that if I was working together with like-minded people in those coins, collaborative innovation networks, that was um, the time I was energized most and it was the, the best thing to really create new ideas, new work, um, just solve any big problems of the world. So that's really the big thing, those coins that uh, I have been studying for now the last six years or so. So what would I like people to know and think and feel? And uh, I think it's about um, working together, about getting an understanding, about uh, being all members of a swarm. I mean, these coins, these collaborative innovation networks for me, um, they are the main building blocks of those self-organizing groups of people that I call the swarms. I mean, uh, I have stumbled on this idea of the swarm uh, by chance when I was in Paris with my children and we were looking for restaurants and on the first day we ended up on top of Montmartre which uh, is the place where you, all the tourists go so what we really did at that time we did not follow the swarm, we followed the crowd the food was okay and there were tons of, of tourists next day uh, we went to the concierge in the hotel and we asked his advice and we got good food at very high price. So that was asking the expert. The last day we followed the swarm, which means we followed the locals and we got by far the best food at very decent price. So this concept of the swarm and swarm creativity, that's something that um, I think everybody should be aware of and being part of the swarm that makes us feeling good and um, it's just this unbelievably energizing um, group or part or feeling or uh, thing where we, we, we can change the world. And there are so many applications of this warm creativity and that starts by just instead of running a project as a conventional project, if you run it as a self-organizing swarm, you will get much better results. And uh, I have a very simple rule in that regard and it means do not pay people in the beginning. Just advertise what you want to do and then hopefully you will find some people. They might join you and uh, some might leave you, but overall you get better results, you get the people that care, you can have much more fun doing it and you get unbelievable results. And I have seen that, for example, building our own software, it was a slow process. I went through many graduate students, but what we got in the end, that was, it's, it's a great product that actually analyzes forms. <laughs> so. um, I, I will go on a little bit about this, the, the, the aspect of what creative swarms uh, can do and uh, what we are, how we are um, putting it to productive use and one thing that the swarms do is they express themselves in blogs and online forums and so on. And if we look at what they say, we assume that they uh, put their money where their mouth is, or to phrase it differently, they will do tomorrow what they say today, or to phrase it even more differently, we can't predict what's going to happen tomorrow by reading the collective mind of today. And that's a project we are doing right now, we call that collective prediction. and. Um, I mean, one thing which we did, and it's of course now easy to say that today, is um, uh, predicting the success of Barack Obama. The point is, we compared what people were saying on blogs like Huffington Post and so on, more than 18 months ago, and sadly, Hillary Clinton had always very low <laughs> buzz, and Barack had 
he was able to raise incredible excitement there and that predicted very well what happened. But you can also apply the same thing for much more straightforward things like um, what um, movie will be successful at the box office because people vote with their feet. So they say I'm going to see that movie and if we look at online forums like for example the Internet Movie Database where we have the people that are passionate moviegoers talking about what they would like to see that will predict where they go tomorrow and so it's a very um, fancy way of reading the mind of the swarm and, uh, and predicting what's, what's, what uh, people are doing tomorrow and the same thing we can also do if we look at email communication inside companies the same thing we can do if we look at interaction networks through social badges, which are those things that people wear around their necks. And we can then put that to use, for example, by finding the most creative individuals. We can help groups of people or individuals to be more creative based on their interaction patterns. And um, the goal is always to empower the individual, to, make, to form a self-organizing swarm by exposing those patterns of interaction, the positive patterns of interactions. Um, and this allows us to predict um, which are the most creative teams and how we can make teams more creative. We have done projects, for example, between Japanese and American um, researchers. And we measured how they um, communicate with each other and what we found is that um, in the beginning, and we had big, we represented every researcher as a big circle. And the size of the circle was how active somebody was, and the color of the circle was how much other people paid attention to what the person was saying. And in the beginning, we had um, three or four very big white circles and some small green circles. Now, you might wonder which ones were the Japanese, which ones were the Americans. Um, I think you might guess uh, how it was. And the point is, we showed those um, circles to the researchers every evening. And what we got in the end is a very well balanced group of somewhat introvert Japanese that were saying much more, of extrovert Americans that were saying too much in the beginning. But in the end, all of them, and very quickly, became very engaged, active collaborators. So, this is a great system of increasing group creativity and making everybody a much better creative person. So I think that's perhaps enough for now.